hi guys welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to look at the build your own option in india for lenovo legion 5 so rajneesh uh, pointed it out that now you have lenovo india just um, added build your own customizations for legion 5 and they review it so here we are today we are going to review this and see what it has to offer okay going straight to lenovo legion website in india it's a landing page let's see okay so we have um, legion 7 legion 7 i 17 intel legion 5 intel legion 5p intel and we really don't see the option for AMD variant so we'll just go to laptops legion 5 okay so on the legion page you will have several options here it is uh, legion 5 amd view or customize we'll just click on this one build your own so i think this is the one he's talking about legion 5 15 ar h 05 h amd variant okay customize okay so now we have a couple of configurations available uh, let's start with the top one we have the processor of course we will go with the 4800h and that's additional 6200 next one is dos windows 10 home single language windows 10 pro 64 of course we will go with dos here next is memory okay so 16 gb ram 32 megahertz they're charging 4000 extra for that one not a bad deal here for 4000 you're getting 8 gb of 3200 megahertz now if you are going to use this with 16 gb configuration you can just click on add or if you want to have 32 gb of ram in your system we would just need to go to amazon okay and just type 32 gb ddr4 ram for laptop 3200 megahertz so crucial 16 gb ddr4 this is 2600 megahertz a data 32 gb all right we're just going through the options so we have a data 16 gb 3200 megahertz this is costing 7000 rupees so if you want to upgrade your system memory to 32 gb that's 16 gb for each slot we can simply get this one uh, sorry we can simply get this one two of these so that will cost 14000 so you will be paying 10000 more but you will get like two more modules you need to keep in mind that it's not proportional from 8 to 16 16 to 32 it cost exponential so yeah again if you want to upgrade just purchase this one then you can just sell it off or use in your other pc uh, otherwise just go with this one i won't recommend using only 8 gb of ram because this is single channel you will need dual channel to have uh, good performance all right so let's say we are going to go with the 16 gb variant we're trying to build a budget pc um, well not really budget pc because it's costing over one lakh rupees but if we are talking about a good pc with solid configuration that won't let you down then we need to uh, cater for such items all right next is the first hard drive so currently it's none basically you have two slots for m.2 in the first slot you can connect um, hard disk drive ssd or m.2 currently it's selected to none let's keep it that way we move to the second option which is the second hard drive 128 gb ssd m.2 so it's selected and if we pay 4500 extra we can get 512 solid straight drive okay so we will go with this one and yes sorry this one because we prefer 2280 that's the most common one and not 2242 we'll just go with this one here and if you need more storage i recommend you can just add here on this side and 
eventually in the future when you are in need of some storage you can add this one I won't recommend adding any hard drive because these are slow so just add and stick to the SSD especially the M.2 2280 it's good so you can even add on the second one but let's keep it to the minimum that we need all right for display we have three options here the first one is 120 hertz narrow 45 percent CG non-touch uh, color gamut that's the CG stands for so we're not going to use this one this is selected by default this is not a good display the second one is this IPS 300 nits 60 hertz again the screen is good but um, the refresh rate is low so we need to go with this one which is full HD IPS anti-clear 144 megahertz 5 millisecond narrow 100% sRGB and 300 nits no touch that's the display we are going for now graphic card we have two options uh, 1660 Ti and the RTX 2060 6 GB DDR6 all right so for this one um, if we compare to the international market I'll just drop the link somewhere here on the right hand side you can check it out it explains what is the price difference between 1660 Ti and 2060 Ti in the international market otherwise since they are charging 5400 rupees for this uh, it, it's a good investment so next we have keyboard backlit English if you want to customize your keyboard you can have backlit full zone RGB keyboard otherwise you can stick to it it's just simple white light it works uh, mouse if you want to add a mouse uh, USB RGB gaming mouse there is no specification for this uh, pretty skeptical here so let's stick to no mouse Lenovo wireless um, Bluetooth 5 if you don't like this one you can switch to the Wi-Fi 6 okay Bluetooth version 5 part of up but you won't see any difference unless you're using a Wi-Fi 6 supported router but still let's say we are just investing 300 rupees and getting Wi-Fi 6 so why not now this is a sweet deal because we're getting a 4 cell 80 watt hour battery the version I'm using currently it has only got 60 watt hour so that's uh, that's a good thing here that we're getting 80 watt hour battery which means you cannot install a hard drive keep that in mind I don't know how they're doing this let's see what happens when we select the hard drive I think the battery option should change automatically no it doesn't so it's incorrect guys be careful with this one if you're going for a hard drive which is well it's a hard drive it's not an SSD M.2 so definitely you won't have the space uh, because the slots are sorted I'll, I'll just put a screenshot here uh, you will see that on the on the back of the machine when you open it you will see that on the main board you will have uh, two slots for M.2 but the the slot which is just above the the battery you have an option either to put the M.2 and use an 80 watt hour battery or you need to have hard disk install and then you will have a 60 watt hour battery you can't have both okay so this is an error from this side all right so since we have finished our customization let's see what we have the price is coming out to be one lakh eighteen thousand nine hundred okay so what are we getting for one lakh eighteen thousand nine hundred uh, we are getting a pc with ryzen 7 4800 edge 2060 6gb graphic card they have not mentioned if it is let's check one more time yeah they have not mentioned if it is a um, where's the graphic card option yeah they have not mentioned if this is max q version or the regular one so it should be the normal version and apart from this if we go to continue customization it will ask for service all right services we have the standard warranty included okay and drop spills and electrical surges are not covered in this one so keep this in mind and warranty upgrade if we select let's say is there a way to select anything else no choose your warranty upgrade no we cannot upgrade it to other option 
okay add smart performance software as service so this is tune pc performance this is the lenovo vantage app i haven't used this but uh, if you want to optimize your pc you need to pay 1463 rupees per year because it's a software as service subscription and then they don't have any other softwares to add so it's services software and accessories there is nothing else so in the end we have a total price tag of 1 lakh 18,900 rupees and for this what we are getting in terms of performance in terms of hardware this is very simple and straightforward Ryzen 7 4800H 8 core processor uh, there is no windows you need to install it so if you are friendly uh, with the installation process I don't think it will be an issue for you but if you if you're not familiar with the Windows installation, then you might need to add the 10,000 rupees for Windows 10 Home Single Language 64. Uh, drop in the comment below if you would like to know how to install Windows. Although um, I haven't covered this topic, I can make a quick video about this one. And then of course the 16 GB RAM, 3200 MHz. We are getting 512 GB of M.2 SSD and we are getting a color accurate screen 144 uh, megahertz 144 hertz refresh rate 5 millisecond response time 300 nits, uh, 300 nits of brightness we're getting nvidia geforce rtx 2060 6gb graphic card and yeah a wi-fi 6 and of course the main feature i would say it's the 80 watt hour battery because the battery backup on this 80 watt hour is pretty sweet you will get up to not eight hours but yeah easily six hours all right so this is what we are getting for one like 18,900 rupees now uh, the good question is uh, should you go and buy this one well if you are in india and you don't want to travel to singapore to get this machine or to dubai for that matter yeah you can buy this this is a good deal in terms of specifications at least price is slightly expensive but uh, not really expensive because if we go and compare this to amazon us and we check uh, lenovo legion 5 So they are selling Lenovo Legion 5, the same version that we have seen, but with 32 GB of memory and one terabyte of uh, M.2, $1,400. And yeah, I think this is the version that we are we are configuring now. It's this 1249, well, 1249.79, or let's say 1250. So USD to INR. one two five zero so it's coming out to be roughly ninety one thousand four hundred and seventy six but keep in mind you will need to pay for the shipping if it's available usually they don't ship to india so you need to, when i imported this to Mauritius, i had to pay about three hundred dollars for shipping and import duties so yes please keep that one in mind uh, in india if you're going to import it's going to cost you a lot so unless you're staying in US or you're traveling for work or some other reason and you can just buy it from there, I would say this is not a bad deal. You can actually buy this one. This is decently spec for price to performance ratio. So yeah, you can. But I would recommend that you go for the 2060 variant here because the price difference is only 5,400 and it's totally worth it to go for 2060 for this price point otherwise if it, it was asking to pay 22,000 more well in that case you go with this option that's the reason why I had to go with this one because this is 1250 1250 so I was paying 250 dollars extra just for an upgrade from 1660 Ti to RTX 2060 which was a lot for me but 5400 not a bad deal 
all right guys so i hope uh, you like this video subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed already thanks for watching see you in the next one